praying the Stations of the Cross with St. Joseph. St. Joseph wasn't at Calvary, but these stations turned to his intercession as we walk beside his son. Pope Francis has gifted the church the year of St. Joseph. Maybe your Lenten focus has been to grow in a deeper appreciation for him as universal patron of the church and father of the Christ child. After all, his feast on March 19th falls during the season of Lent. Praying the Stations of the Cross with St. Joseph may seem out of place. Joseph was not at Calvary. He did not experience the passion alongside Jesus. Yet I believe we can parallel the life of the Holy Family to that of the Stations of the Cross and ask the intercession of St. Joseph in this traditional Lenten devotion. Connections can be made and drawn, making the life of St. Joseph worthy of our meditation and also helping us to connect the lives of Joseph and Jesus with Christ's ultimate sacrificial and redemptive act. Let us pray. May we honor you, O faithful and righteous Saint Joseph, as we seek to pray, as it were through your eyes, your heart, and holy soul. All heaven was in awe of Christ's saving sacrifice, as we unite ourselves with those in the kingdom, adoring the one who died for us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. At the cross our station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast, hast redeemed, redeemed the world. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. Yet as you know, Saint Joseph, from his infancy there were those in the world threatened by him. You were his protector the provider for Jesus and our Blessed Mother. You saved him from Herod, and now he stands before Pilate. The God of your ancestors who tested Abraham on the mountain by asking him to sacrifice Isaac will soon watch his only begotten son die for divine purposes. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, Pray that we learn the value of holy silence. As Jesus stands condemned and does not defend himself. In the scriptures, St. Joseph, we also have no words spoken by you. Yet, your witness speaks, accepting God's will as Jesus did on that day. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. 
as foster father of the Saviour. Saint Joseph, do you recall the first time you handed a wooden beam to Christ in your carpentry workshop? We call on you as a patron of workers. As Jesus took up his cross, you watched the one you raised and mentored in woodwork begin the most important work in history by accepting his cross. When we reflect on Jesus' invitation for each of us to take up our cross, May our hearts be brave as we ponder this perfect labor of love. Let us pray. Lord, may each of us find the grace of acceptance in our lives to, un to unite our will to yours in the journey of discipleship. Free us from our natural aversion to suffering Good Saint Joseph, intercede that we learn to love God's holy will as you did. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Oh, how sad and so distressed was that. The third station, Jesus falls the first time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. When the child Jesus took his first steps, you and the Virgin Mary took delight, as all parents do. He grasped your hand firmly for guidance balance and reassurance. In learning to walk, children also fall. You helped him back to his feet with gentleness under the weight of the cross. When Christ fell, you were aware that the burden he bore was our sins, our faults and falls. Saint Joseph, we rely on your strength now on our path of life. Let us pray. Everyone needs to learn humility to deal with their own weaknesses, failures and disappointments. Saint Joseph, pray with us that this important virtue grow in our hearts as we stumble and continue to reach toward heaven for assistance to keep beginning again. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Christ above and torment hangs, she The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast, hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Spouse of the Virgin, your chaste love for her was a daily lesson for our Saviour in the home of Nazareth. You can probably still remember the determination in her eyes in your flight to Egypt. On Good Friday, you saw her heart pierced because you knew the profound bond of love between this mother and her son. Saint Joseph, pray that we will show concern, kindness and sincere charity 
when our own loved ones suffer. May our personal passion experiences, which break our hearts open, seek divine love to heal them. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, at this moment, from eternity, you can see the suffering in our world. Pray that we will develop a compassion that resembles yours, so that we may be more like you, your wife and our savior. When our eyes meet human suffering, may we reach out to relieve pain as Christ's instruments of healing. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Is there one who would not weep Whelmed in miseries so deep Christ your mother to behold The fifth station Simon helps Jesus carry his cross We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou, thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Saint Joseph, you and Jesus relied upon each other in household maintenance tasks, as well as the work of your shop. Simon of Cyrene was pressed into service as Christ found himself weakened under the burden of the cross. May our faith, hope and love become stronger under your protection and inspire us to always be generous helpers to those in our lives with great burdens and seemingly insurmountable circumstances. Let us pray. May we continuously develop the virtue of meekness as we find ourselves faced with menial tasks. Perhaps, when we are given duties we would not rather tackle, St. Joseph's meekness and Simon's willingness to help will give us a holy perspective to overcome tendencies to be self-serving. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain in that mother's pain untold? The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast, hast redeemed, redeemed the world. This tender moment of encounter on the way of the cross has forever given impetus for us to seek the face of Christ. For you, Saint Joseph, there has to be a permanent imprint in your memory of that holy face. In graceful ways, Lord, show us how to recognize and acknowledge the faces of the suffering among us, even when it's the person in the mirror, and always be grateful in acknowledging our caregivers. Let us pray. Saint Joseph, how often did you wipe the sweat of your own brow in your labors and craft? Did you not also wipe the face of Jesus as a child? Pray that we become especially selfless in caring for children, the sick, the elderly, and infirm. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. 
May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Bruce derided, cast defiled, she beheld a tender child, all with bloody surges rent. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because, because by, by Thy the holy, holy cross, cross Thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. When physical exhaustion meets the force of gravity, we all fall down. Saint Joseph, you knew well the experience of fatigue and illness. When our spiritual, mental, physical and emotional resources grow tired. Pray that we will be lifted up and carry on, making our way as Jesus did, the day he sacrificed his very life for us. Let us pray. Intercede for us, Saint Joseph, that we acquire the virtue of perseverance in our lives, in the work of building you had to keep at a project until it was complete. Your integrity helped you continue, and we all need that in our lives. In walking the way of the cross with Jesus, we honor your fathering example, which taught the value of seeing a job through. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit fault he sent. The Eighth Station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by thy the holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. O Joseph, most prudent and valiant, you might have recognized the faces of these women on the way of the cross. From your work of pilgrimages to Jerusalem's temple for high holy days, from your place in heaven, intercede for our mothers, wives, sisters, and the women praying with us today. When they grieve painful circumstances with their husbands, children, or grandchildren, pray for gentle endurance. Let us pray. Our Lord Jesus' profound empathy for his disciples who grieve his suffering, calls us to reach out to others beyond our own pain and wounds. Your home in Nazareth, St. Joseph, was like a textbook of that virtue. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Oh, sweet mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above. Make my heart with yours of God. The Ninth Station Jesus falls the third time. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Holy Joseph of Nazareth, from your place in the kingdom, you can be a spiritual benefactor to our fallen world. As an angel once discouraged you from divorcing Mary quietly, bring a message of healing to those whose falls are so numerous that they despair. They may even be tempted to divorce themselves 
from our Lord. Convinced that they are an impossible cause. Let us pray. True charity ministers to those most in need, the broken, addicted ones, and souls who feel totally lost. May God's love through the power of Christ's passion reach deeply into the hearts and restore the gift of hope. Saint Joseph, be their help as you were for Jesus and his mother. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Make me feel as you The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because, because by, by thy the holy cross, cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. From swaddling clothes to his first cloak, to his prayer shawl at the synagogue, Saint Joseph, you were there when our Lord was clothed in various ways throughout his life. Now as his death nears, we see him stripped of his garments as an additional humiliation for those being put to death by crucifixion. With eyes of faith, help us now to see this action as a revelation of the body of Christ, so that all his wounds from the scourging and precious blood can be more clearly seen. How awesome that nothing can strip Jesus of his role as our Savior. Let us pray. Modesty is a virtue that expresses respect for the human body. While those who crucified Jesus had no regard for his dignity, wishing to shame him by tearing off even the purple robe that mocked his kingship. He will soon be clothed in a glory that no eye had yet seen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Holy Mother, pierce me through In my heart each wound renew Of my Saviour crucified The eleventh station Jesus is nailed to the cross we adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because, because by, by thy the holy cross thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. This was a familiar sound to you, Saint Joseph, of pounding nails. Yet this use of nails and wood is the antithesis of the craftsmanship you developed and taught Jesus in his youth. Now on Good Friday, Three nails driven in arrogance with punishment as a motivation will pierce his hands and feet and be driven through his flesh into the wood of the cross. When forces of evil try to reverse the good we try to accomplish, when our best intentions are met with cynical, vengeful hammers, Help us recall how Jesus, the innocent lamb, allowed himself to be crucified to bring about eternal victory in our most agonized moments. Saint Joseph, solace of the afflicted, we beg you to pray for us. 
Let us pray. Lord, give us a love of justice in the face of systems that seem like the odds are most against any change for the good. As a carpenter, St. Joseph, you also know how to remove nails from wood, from wood that needs to be disassembled, recognizing what causes a project to come out poorly. Bless our church and her work for peace and justice. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins were slain, who for me in torments died. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross we adore Thee, O Christ, and we bless Thee, because, because by, by Thy the holy cross, cross Thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. O Saint Joseph, patron of a happy death, Jesus and your wife were with you when you passed into eternity. On Good Friday, from heaven, you observed, as the three o'clock hour struck, the last breath and heartbeat of your dear foster child, your Lord and our Lord. Sacred scriptures tell us Jesus surrendered his spirit. He gave himself to the saving will of the Father, to his last breath. And Joseph, we ask you to be a patron of the dying, that when our moment comes, we may not be afraid but see heaven's plan for us completed. Dying in peace means that we have entrusted everything to the Lord, who made us and continues to make us until our final hour comes. Let us pray. As we praise Jesus for his death, may we know through holy wisdom that our lives are transitory. And then we'll be prudent in the way we spend every breath, every heartbeat. Saint Joseph, help us direct our thoughts to the goal of being with Christ and you forever. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who moaned for me all the days that I may live. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee. Because, because by, by thy the holy cross, cross thou, thou hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Where else would we first place his now lifeless body than into the arms of a sorrowful mother? Saint Joseph, protector of the Holy Family, you know that our faith does not promise that we will never suffer, but you are an example of the way that all things can work together for the purpose of God's holy will. When Christ's body was removed from the cross, the reality of his temporary departure began to sink in for his mother, apostles and disciples. The centurion spoke truth which we all need to hear. Surely, this was God's Son. We also need to be sure that Jesus' way of the cross makes a way for us to share in his dying and rising. Saint Joseph, 
where we wait in times of great sadness, loss and suffering. Embrace us in your fatherly care as your heart and soul looked with awe on this piata scene of Holy Mother and Sacrificed Son. Let us pray. Let us prayerfully ponder what Joseph took as he watched the scene at Calvary. He had faith in divine providence during his earthly life and now sees from a place a glory the Father's plan take a dramatic turn, the death of Jesus. O Saviour, you described yourself as the Alpha and Omega, beginning and the end. Lord, now teach us to finish our race well. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. By the cross with you to stay, there with you to weep and pray. This I ask of you to give. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore thee, O Christ, and we bless thee, because, because by, by thy, thy holy cross, cross thou hast, hast redeemed, redeemed the world. Good, upright, and just, Saint Joseph, as God's Son has completed his saving sacrifice, the tools of those who crucified him are inanimate witnesses to the mystery of redemption. The saw that cut the wood of the cross the hammer, the nails, might be used again for other crucifixions, but never again will they be part of accomplishing anything with so much eternal significance. We who bury and entomb our dearest ones also join the waiting, praying community at Jerusalem over 2,000 years ago. Three days will bring the victory, but millions of bodies still lie in wait of the promised final resurrection day. Saint Joseph, pray with us that our way in this life will be profoundly transformed by this way of the cross. May we be tools in the hand of the master craftsman who created the world, his son whom you trained in the home of the Holy Family and the Spirit who raised him on the third day. Let us pray. In the profound silence that followed Christ's death on that Good Friday afternoon, a stone would seal the tomb. The grave was provided by another Joseph of Arimathea. Give us trust, Lord, that we will imitate and incorporate into our daily lives your great attribute, your mercy. Burying the dead is a corporal work of mercy. As Christ's words, it is finished. Speak of his supreme act of self-gift out of perfect love for us. May we remember that in him, Dying always leads to rising. For this we earnestly, continuously hope. In Jesus' name, Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. We conclude the way of the cross with a prayer for the year of Saint Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our afflictions. And having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also. Through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard 
the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. A most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. A most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O oh, our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection, so that supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. We pray for the intentions of the Holy Father and for our Mother Church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.